it's dead. Oh well. All right, so if anyone can hear me, I guess uh, it looks like I accidentally deleted, or yeah, accidentally deleted, I accidentally uploaded uh, something before. I was just trying to figure out why my OBS was saving it in a different file format except for MP4, so that was just a mistake. I went to click um, start recording, and I, I think I clicked the um, live stream button by accident because they're right next to each other. But the video I was going to try my damnedest to get up, I just couldn't get it up because... Uh, um, I just couldn't get it up. Not enough time. Time crunch. It was about the new cover, which maybe we'll talk about right now. Uh, the Walking Dead cover. It's like a um, uh, gay pride flag cover. It's a variant cover. So, and let me get this out of the way. I'm not. I don't give a damn about being politically correct. So if I don't use like the perfect term or something, I don't know. Just you know, I'm not hateful, so I don't go out of my way trying to prove that. Uh, it is what it is. So anyway, there's this cover that some people d dislike, obviously, because uh, it's gay. <laughs> so uh, the majority of the fans love it, and I think it's a kick-ass cover. You got Jesus on it. He's tearing a zombie in half. Uh, the cover has a lot of guts. <laughs> I posted a picture on Instagram saying, uh, I love Jesus, no homo. <laughs> Yeah, you because know, that's what you said. Dumb joke, I know. But still, some people didn't like it, and I get it. Nowadays, especially with social media, it feels like everyone's always trying to cram it down your throat that uh, the world is sexist, everything is sexist, you know, everyone's racist, um, what, you know, everyone's trying to squeeze gay people into everything, and if there is gay characters in something, God forbid you kill them, that you can't kill them, that's blasphemy. So I understand, but I don't think it's fair to take it out of the Walking Dead comic. I think they do it well, and they make it feel authentic and organic when they have gay characters or when they have realistic storylines, uh, characters that everyone can um, relate to. I think it would be ridiculous to say, no, we have too many preachers. Get Father Gabriel out of there. That's the way I see it, no matter what. No matter wh what it is, if it's like, oh, no, there's too many black people, take Michonne out of there, Father Gabriel out of there, Tyrese, or, oh, no, there's too many white people, or, there's too many Chinese, there's too many Korean, there's too many this, there's too many this, there's not enough this. I just say, you know what, let the creative minds do what they want, and that's it. <laughs> but the cover's cool. If you, you know, don't want to support the cover, don't want to buy the cover, there's an additional cover with Negan. Everyone's kneeling down in front of him. That's kind of gay too, though. <laughs> okay, bad joke, Ronnie. Stay on topic. Um, what else? Oh, and it looks like there's a. Uh, it looks like they're donating some of the money for that uh, cover. So that's cool. I mean, that I don't know what chari charity it is, but I'm guessing it's a good one. I mean, anything helps, right? As long as it's not a corrupt organization. I mean, charities are cool. So. Again, if you don't want to support, don't support. But if you do want to support, it's important to call your um, comic book shop and just remind them, let them know. Some comic book shops, depending on how big or small they are, they might not be uh, well aware about the variant cover. So let's get that out of the way. And I did a live stream with... Um, uh, just a quick hour discussion about everything this morning and that was to kind of play it fair to be like okay if you're in this time zone we can do something and if you're in this time zone we can do something I noticed what is this what is this <laughs> okay I'm not messing with this I had the old layout where I was I'm in a box so hopefully this doesn't annoy you too much I love this image though of this house that's all down and out and you got the I was, never mind, it doesn't matter. I was setting up something for a thumbnail. So this is how we look right now. And let me see some of the settings. Uh, I think the settings are good. I can change the bit rate. I have the keyframes down uh, if we're entering any problem areas. Uh, what do we got? I personally think the pride cover would have been more fitting for Aaron. Aaron was the first uh, real openly gay character Kirkman brought in. Um... Uh, yeah, I mean, if you want it to be Aaron, I, I just personally don't think it matters. I think uh, if you wanted an action cover, Aaron might not have been... I don't look at Aaron and think that type of cover. When I see this Jesus cover, I'm, it makes sense, you know what I mean, action-wise, because he's so 
Uh, he's into the martial arts, and he looks badass, you know? Aaron could have worked. I'm, I'm not saying no. I just, uh, I think maybe visually Jesus looks a little more badass, in my opinion, especially with the martial arts and everything. But I think that's just a matter of preference, probably. That's all that comes down to. What else we got, boy? Um... Looks cool as hell. Yeah. Oh, and I put links to... I put links to the figures. If you're a figure collector, we will get... When we get the... Uh, when we get the prototype of the Season 7 Blu-ray, the collector set, when we get that information, I will do one big video covering all the new figures. And uh, we'll cover those. But right now in the video description, you have a link to, and if you're a collector out there, I'm going to run through this real quick so that way we can move on to the comments. You have a 5-inch Negan, just Negan. You have a 5-inch Negan and Glenn 2-pack. Then you have a 7-inch Negan, just Negan with um, less articulation but better detail, 7-inch color top available everywhere. Then you have a 7-inch bloody variant of Negan in the color tops, and that's a Walmart exclusive. That sucks because um, good luck. <laughs> Unless somebody in the Matt family, you know, hooks it up. It, I'm not saying give me for free. I'm saying if, uh, if someone's like, yo, my Walmart has it, and I'm like, oh, hey, I'll PayPal you the money, whoop-de-whoop, because -whoop, my Walmart just blows, absolutely blows. But that's besides the point. So you have those four options, 5-inch Negan Solo, 5-inch Negan and Glenn 2-pack, 7-inch Bloody Negan, 7-inch Regular Negan. Then you have the 7-inch Dwight, and then you have the, I know I'm missing one. Give it to me, baby. What am I missing? What am I missing? I don't, I don't remember, but I put the links down below. The Bloody Lucille, all between September, August, October with the Blu-ray and stuff, so... All right, uh, people just had, people just need to bitch about everything. <laughs> yeah, you can't win with people. People are either bitching about this or complaining about that. But then again, this is the internet. I mean, you're open the floodgates to every form of communication, whether it's something positive, something negative, or, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> greetings. Wait, Ronnie sends greetings to Ronnie. OP. Okay. <laughs> uh, what do we got here? Where did that... Where did my clicky button go? I don't have a clicker anymore to look at the comments. That blows. Um, what's going on? Okay, there we go. Uh, -bum -bum. Are you disappointed with what they did to Jesus in Season 7? Oh, man. Um, hold on, hold on. Why is it doing that? Son of a bitch. Okay, there we go. All right, what are we talking about season seven? Uh, Ronnie, over the past couple of weeks, I've noticed you have lost almost 1K subs. Why is that? You know what? When everyone was talking about the sub glitch thing, the channel was doing great. So I was like, okay, what are they talking about? The one day I had like, um, I don't want to overshoot it or underplay it, but the one, and we're talking like a couple months ago, maybe five, six months ago, I had like a, a thousand, maybe 2,000 drop overnight. But uh, now it's like 200 every single day. And then when I have positives, it'll be like three days in a row. Positive six, positive six, positive six. At first I thought, nah, it's the off season. But this is weird because it never did this last off season. But now that I saw the positive six three days in a row, I know there's something funky with it. So, And not only that, I'm having more and more and more people reach out to me and say, I had to resubscribe. I had to resubscribe. So I honestly don't know what's happening. I don't know if it's the sub glitch again. I don't know how many channels are affected. But yeah, my channel took a hit. At first, it was just a couple hundred. I think now it's, it's like 1,500 subs gone. And at least two dozen have messaged me to say they had to resubscribe back. And you know what? A lot of them, I guarantee you there's a hundred out there right now that don't even know because Walking Dead is off the, off, uh, you know, it's off season. When Fear the Walking Dead come back, I guarantee I have a hundred people, if not more, who message me and say, uh, yo, I went looking for your review and I'm not subscribed to you. I mean, that's what happened last time. Once the Walking Dead comes back, everyone's like, oh shit. But I don't know what's I don't know what's going on. I mean, it's it's the YouTube shit, you know. Uh, uh, the lo logo looks really cool with the rainbow style. Yo, that's one thing I wanted to point out. I freaking love how that um, 
the border around the letters it has the rainbow style from like red to purple I think that's freaking awesome I'm waiting for the fucking 170 cover that'll be out soon oh yeah here the Walking Dead LM Ronnie are you disappointed with what they did with Jesus in season 7 I felt like he was underused yeah I think I agree with that I think he was underused I gotta smell it in case my daughter plays a prank on me <laughs> Um, what else we got? Yeah, I agree with that. I wish they use them more in the next season. The logo looks really cool with the rainbow style. Who's Negan? I don't know. <laughs> thoughts on the whereabouts of Heath? Uh, we give the we give these thoughts all the time, and it's the same. There's I haven't gotten any new information that makes me think anything different. Um, what I said last time, I still think that. But if in case you weren't here last time, I think Heath is just with. Um, another group and it'll pop up randomly you know so uh, i've been wondering the same thing thanks for chilling with us all oh not a problem i want to get uh i really want to get used to the live stuff you know i know right now it's the off season so i figured it'd be the best time to take advantage of it but i still have those handful of people who are like i don't like the lives and i'm trying to explain listen it's for practice and it's either this or nothing like i might have been able to put out that um that one video going over the collectibles, but that's it, you know? And uh, I still got a shit ton of uh, work to get done on that comic, but I'm going to do that as soon as we're over with this. And that's why when I say, all right, guys, 15 more minutes, I might have to mean it this time. <laughs> Wait, I'm up on the channel for the minute. Links will be available in 24 hours. Why does the stream keep stopping? I'm going to look that up quick if you guys don't mind. Um, bum, bum, bum. My my screen is missing little. I don't know how to explain it, but your normal setup for your live screen, it's missing some buttons here and there. Like I'm missing this. It it's as if it. I need to refresh it, but I don't know if I can refresh it because I don't know if it'll mess up the live. But I'm actually missing my buttons to move the chat up and down. So <laughs> I don't know how to. And then if I use the wheel on my mouse, it just goes like crazy. It's like it's on crack. Um, spin, spin, super chat. What is that? Super chat. Oh, okay. TWDLM. We got a, a super chat. Huge thank you for the support to the channel. Uh, you can ask something too in the super chat. It'll highlight it. I noticed you didn't ask anything. Or maybe that's not showing up either. Let me, sc let me scan through the... Uh, the chat but anyway anyone who wants the links to all those collectibles I talked about you can find them in my video description right now take you to the cover I posted a picture it'll take you to every single link for the collectibles hey Ronnie your European fans need more of your shorter videos since you are asleep when you do your live wait what therefore we can't join the live streams unless you have ins insomnia like me uh, yeah the all yeah it's all coming back Short videos, long videos, live videos, regular videos, it's all coming back. Uh, like I said, June, July, that's where we're coming back fully because I have uh, been packing up. I don't know if you can tell, but behind me, it's missing a lot of the stuff. I've been taking everything down, packing it up. Everything on this other side is pretty much packed, packed and closed uh, because I got to do it in between work and then the channel So and then being a dad. So it takes a lot longer than before when I was single and I could just burn everything and start over. <laughs> Kurt Cobain came back from the dead to ask, Hey Ronnie, I loved your episodes. Deeper meanings for each episode. Oh, uh, wait, it was better than the new Rockstars version, Sup from the Bronx. Yep, different, different, uh, what does this say? Different strokes for different folks or whatever. New Rockstars, they do some good shit. I, uh, I see them as a company though, so I don't, I don't know. Because they, they, what did it, they have it one guy and then they, is that guy from the source fed? Or what? I just see all them as companies. You know what I mean? They don't give a shit who they put in front of the camera. It's probably their friends and they just continue that cycle of bullshit. So uh, it is what it is. But I think they make good videos if that is like one person. And I think that's why I don't like them because you don't know if they have like a little team of people editing and they make it look like it's just one. Maybe it's just me. Maybe you're supposed to follow all their social media, but. I don't like those YouTube channels that look like it's like one dude grinding. Like that one dude is it Eric Voss, and I think he does a great job. I think he does a fantastic job. Um, I would even collaborate with the fucker, but I'm probably going to insult their channel right now, so that that probably won't happen. But um, it makes it look like it's that one dude grinding away, but it's not. It's that company, ain't it? 
Anyway, that's besides the point. Uh, I think, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I can, maybe I'll look into them before I, I talk real shit. But I fully support the, I think YouTube, like celebrities coming to YouTube. I think that's great and all, but get the fuck out of here. This is for, you have your Hollywood. This is Hollywood for the everyman. So I don't support YouTubers or uh, Hollywood, uh, the Hollywood elite on YouTube. You can go fuck yourself. Go back to Instagram and Juicy Drop. Pop, Jesus in the comics, and Jesus in a TV show are different styles. Yes, they absolutely are. Uh, what else? I know I missed something. So, uh, each episode, it was better than... Oh, yeah. Uh, Kurt Cobain. Yeah, ba -bum -bum. We're going to get the deeper meanings. I'm going to try to perfect it to where we do. You know what I was thinking? Listen, we if I can perfect it, no lag, no bullshit, and then have it airing live, we can possibly watch the episode together live and then, and I'll talk about live reaction, like, I watch it, you know, boom, 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 we have the chat, we have us, we can do that live, immediately after, do a live discussion for like an hour, hour and a half, and then two days later, I drop the in-depth, you know what I mean? This way, when we're, we're reacting live, and we're talking, and then afterwards, we talk for an hour, hour and a half, and then we can lay everything out that we saw, and then I can re-watch the episode with all that in mind piece my video together and boom release it on like every Wednesday the in-depth analysis of the episode something like that I want to play around with it but something like that I really like the live videos yeah I'm liking them I like it you know I am OCD for not wasting time so I flub shit because I'm trying to okay Ronnie talk as fast as you can get as much out there this fucking shit keeps saying off stream and I don't know if it shuts it off for you guys. When I rewatch it, it doesn't. Like when I rewatch this when it uploads, it never drops out. I, I don't. It's driving me nuts. But every once in a while, I hear someone say, "Oh, it went offline." It's 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 driving me nuts. I looked that up. But anyway, um, I like the live. I like it's fun. But I I I gotta perfect it because. Uh, it drives me nuts when there's downtime. Like if I'm scrolling through comments and there's like three seconds of dead air. I know it shouldn't be a problem, but I go nuts. I'm like, Ronnie, read, read, read. Keep going faster, faster. Uh, okay, that got perverted fast. The 69. Hey, Ronnie, thumbs up from Northern Michigan. Just got home and saw a live feed. The streams are getting better every time. Well, thank you very much. I still got to tweak some stuff. I don't know how the hell to do it. Uh, oh man, Ronnie, that would be awesome if you could all watch the episodes together. Yep, and now it says offline again. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Filmmaker Wannabes, do you believe the entire s season 8 could be all out war for the 5 millionth time? Yes! <laughs> Only the first 8 episodes focus on the scavengers and the second half focuses... No, why in the hell? 8 episodes is long. If you focused 8 episodes on the trash people and then you focused 8 episodes on the saviors, you effectively ruined All Out War. No, intertwine it with everything, man. This is war. This isn't like, okay, the saviors will wait until we fight them. And then now that we defeated... No, give it all different blended story Kurt Cobain would you get copyrighted if you stream live Walking Dead episode well bro I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stream the damn episode I, it's gonna be just me you know what I mean oh uh, wait a minute hold on I'm receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming as such viewers experience buffering view video output low well how do I fix that fuck um bum 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 Bum, bum. Sorry guys, I want to try to fix a setting because it's telling me that something's wrong. But I just, my daughter's trying to sneak up a late bed night, uh, blah, 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 a late night. So I just told her she got to get her butt to bed and I know she's watching something. So I got to shut it down, man. I got to shut it down. Okay. Um, settings. Output. I'm gonna do 1,000 bit rate or something because it said I don't even know what the f I don't even know what that means. Apply. Okay. Hopefully that'll get better. 
Uh, bum bum bum. Let's go watch the episode. Let's click on me in live reactions. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people like the live reactions. Coyote. Hello, everyone. Um, Rose. Would be an awesome addition. I never had anyone to get over excited with. Yeah, see, we can all get excited for the new episodes. That would be sick as hell. A lot of people seem to like the uh, live reactions. Um, I don't know, can I be a um, hey Ronnie, it never shuts off. Yeah, I'm just ignoring the mod stuff, but listen, DG, DD Productions, no offense, but chill, bro. <laughs> you know, um, I honestly haven't had time to look up. If anyone's interested in being a mod, one thing right now, if you don't have patience, it's probably not going to work. I'll be honest with you straight up. I have a list of names, you know what I mean? And I've had problems with people being mods and being complete assholes. So forgive me if I'm extra cautious with it, you know? Um, I've had people be like, yo, man, I want to be a mod. I'm your biggest fan. Fan. and then next thing you know i'm looking up their background and for months they're just like ronnie's a dick <laughs> he's a piece of shit <laughs> and it's like bro fucking seriously all right uh, all right guys i have to go finish up work later it's no big deal usually just close the video then reopen Bum, bum, bum. Hey Ronnie, can I hell? It never shuts off for me. Hey Ronnie, it never shuts off for me when you say it's offline. It does buffer lag sometimes, but when you actually says it's offline, you're fine. I don't get that. I don't get that because my screen it'll change colors and it'll say you're offline. Yada yada yada. Uh, go to video manager. Rose Ella, mine went completely black with offline screen. Closing it and reopening it fixes it. No big deal. Uh, Ronnie, do you think they will kill Shiva off in the first few episodes of season eight to save the budget? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, listen, if you show her, you know, three times in the first two episodes, and then if you show her only three times in the first eight episodes, the budget's the same. It, it all matters on how much you show her. If you want to save the budget, don't show her as much. You know what I mean? So I think um, when they kill her off, will be determined on when they have that battle with the kingdom where they lose, you know what I mean? It's going to be like a, a symphony. Is that the, it's going to be like your what's what's this guy that does that with the music? He's like um <laughs> what is that? Um I don't know. It, it's going to be like that. That's how seasons play out, especially war and battles. It's going to be like da na 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 da na na and winning and losing. I think in the middle somewhere kingdom's gonna take a heavy hit or, or at least i'm basing that off the comic because that's how it felt it was like victory defeat victory defeat uh, ba -bum -bum. rubik seven seven two wait three two three what do you think about carl aiming down the sights of the rifle with his eye patch the show needs work on that stuff uh well it depends on what scenes and honestly it depends on what scenes i know there was something with the governor. There was people making fun of something the governor did. And, yeah, it, it all depends on what scenes. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I forget. There was something where everyone's like, look at the governor. Because, remember, it's a meme. But if you actually watch the... I'm going to go watch the episodes. I don't care. I honestly don't care. If he's sniping people, straight up sniping people. But if he's kind of like this and he's just getting... You know, pray and spray. I honestly don't care because he, if he's more comfortable like that, if he's spraying and praying, it doesn't matter if he's eyeing up the sight or just kind of uh, eyeballing it with his other side, but not through the sight. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't have sound conductor. Yeah, like a conductor. Uh, the girl with the glass. You know, conductor. That dude. Yeah, the conductor. Did you hear? Did you hear Andrew Lincoln got locked out of the hundredth episode party? I did hear about that. It's all over Twitter. Royal skin. Wait, what is that? Royals King thirty five. Yeah, it's all over Twitter. I think that was uh, funny. <laughs> I don't know if it was funny for him, but I think that's funny. Imagine being Andrew Lincoln. You're Rick Grimes. You know. I wonder if, as he was trying to get back in, he was like. Carl! <laughs> Carl, let me in! Worst Rick Grimes impression ever. You're on it. You're getting us hooked with all these live streams, bro. Love you. Thank you, LulyTube. Uh, Taylor Ryder. Ronnie, make a new Lucille variant. One Lucille is called Ladies Night. Black Bat. Pink Circle. <laughs> pink Barbed Wire for the ladies. Oh, my God, dude. Ladies will probably love that shit. Um, some guys, too. Some guys that like pink. <clears throat> Sandy Schaefer. Wait, what is it? Black 
bat with gold circle and barbed wire called the gold standard. Dude, I like that. I like that a lot. Black with the gold. That sounds cool. Shady. Sandy Schaefer. Hey, Ronnie. Love your Lucille's. Thank you very much. Thank. Uh, go see Taylor Ryder. He's making a bunch of different ones. What's up, Map? I'm a live streamer. Have you ever tried the, what is it? The PS4? Um... Why does it have that arrow? Who will die in episode one by Negan? I say Gavin and Gregory. I don't. I don't know why you would say that. I don't. I don't think that either. Uh, thanks, Ronnie, for awesome content. That one dude. I was reading your question and it glitched out and I lost it. So I'll have to. But no, I never heard of anything on the PS4 as far as some kind of community, like live. That's what it sounded like you were talking about. Uh, oh, right there. Have you ever tried the playroom? No, I never tried that. This crude weapon. The other YouTuber that does walk into videos as a girlfriend. Uh, well, I gotta pause in case this takes a turn for the worst. <laughs> uh, wait, what? That's a weird comment. Good thing I just stopped. <laughs> Jay McClinton 8. I love Shiva. I hope that she can be around a few more seasons. Andre Torres, who will die in episode, Blake Cody, Ronnie, I think they should capitalize on Aaron's character because this actor, Ross is boss, uh, Ross is boss, also have you seen Ross's impression video, yeah, his impressions are off the hook, and I think he is, he is fantastic, I think he is a great Aaron, that's perfect casting, Michael Lynch, a wid, Jesus and Aaron are so badass, yeah, I almost forget they're gay, <laughs> They did a weird smiley face. Go get them, guys. Go get them. Tasha Ridnor. I was just kidding. No point in arguing over that. What character need more development? Anyone can use more development, but uh, which character could use more? I, Jesus, man. We need more of Jesus' stuff. I would like some more of uh, Aaron's stuff, to be honest. I'm done. I gave up on characters like Tara. I think there's some characters I just fully believe should not be developed because you're wasting time away from characters that should be developed. In all honesty, as much as uh, I think Oceanside worked for Terra's character, I think that was probably a waste. Uh, I think it's characters like, you know what? I think it is the cast uh, growing close bonds with the crew, you know, the cast and crew, and I think that is problematic for the show. Like, Beth shouldn't have gotten such a big farewell. And I think maybe that was because uh, the, the you know cast and crew and everyone got so attached, they wanted to send this character off on, not only for the character, but also for the actress, on this high note for her character. It developed her character. It gave her the spotlight hardcore for a bit, gave her her own little shine. And I, I think that hurt the story. Same thing with Tara. Tara's a side character. Treat her like one. And I know The Walking Dead does the, everything in its power to give everyone a lot of play. And I just don't think that's realistic. To tell a good story, there's some characters who are just going to take a back seat. The comic does it well. The comic, and you know what, the show does it well for certain issues. But maybe the comic is a little easier because uh, uh, there's just no way you can get as much into it. And yada, yada, yada. And you don't have to deal with real people. I, you know what, I take it back. That's why the comic is a lot easier. You're not dealing with real characters. So you're not making friends with... Uh, What's her name? I forgot. <laughs> uh, you're not making real friends with the actresses and the actors and stuff like that. So uh, that's probably why. Uh, in my opinion, that's why. Like that terror scene and Beth scene, some other stuff with other characters, it just didn't need to happen. It didn't need that much development. Uh, the Dark Defender. Thanks, Ronnie, for awesome content. Your The Walking Dead comic reviews are what got me into the comics. Thank you very, very much. I am glad. The more people into the comics, the more people talking on the channel. It's better for us as a community, you know? Uh, what do we got? Hey, Taylor. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Received my bloody Lucille in the mail today. Dude, she is beautiful. Yeah, she's awesome. This crude weapon. Michael, that's such a bigot comment. <laughs> what? Well, that's the problem, though, crude weapon. You don't know if they're teasing or what, because I tease hardcore. I mean, in public and friends and all that. I But it's different, though. In, in public and person, you can go yard out. I believe everything is a joke. You can make, well, just about everything is a joke. And I think that's why I get annoyed so much with the internet, because everyone is waiting to hear something that's going to offend them. Not everyone, and I don't mean you, but I just mean it's a little more difficult to play around on the internet and just, 
ease up a little, you know? Uh, listen, when I fall down and I bust my face, and the first thing I would rather do is laugh it off. You know what I mean? So that's how I look at life in general. Andre, oh, that skipped. Raiders Cat. I disagree, Ronnie. Beth was a season two character. Oh, it lost it. I really want to find that again. Uh, ba -bum -bum. Hey, Ronnie, how would you want? Damn, it's gone. Bum bum. Where'd it go? Man, if you could type that comment again or somebody point me in a direction, I want to read that again. But uh, her being in season two has nothing to do with anything. I really want to reread the rest of your comment. But listen, she was a she was a nobody in season two. She was what a nobody in season three, pretty much. She was a background character, barely got any shine, and even still, uh, I think you might have missed a point. That's why I want to. The, well, the, my opinion, I mean, not like you're wrong, but my opinion, the point I was trying to make is it doesn't matter how long they're around. It, it just means that this character just is not meant to evolve into anything big or special. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's just that simple black and white. And I'd hate to be like, oh, yeah, we need to uh, um, not develop some characters, but you just don't have enough time. And some of them just aren't interesting, you know? So, damn, I really wish the shit didn't go past your comment. Uh, ba -bum -bum. I tried scrolling through, but I can't see it. Hey, Ronnie, how do you think a character like Earl's Lost Jin doesn't speak English could add something to the show? Uh, yeah. I, it, maybe, you know, but the only thing you have is a communication problem. I think it would be good for some banter, but other than that, um, that's it. <laughs> Jay Franco. Is the new Planet of the Apes going to be trash? Probably not. It looks good. Josh Norris is when he sniped Alex. It looked like he was using his eye patch. Yeah, there's that's the moment that's in the memes. But I, I went and looked at something, and when I rewatched it, there was something that explained part of it. But I totally forget it by now. So, uh, Ronnie, you think Aaron's boyfriend will die? Most likely. Uh, the new TV show Mist. It looks kind of interesting. No, I will not check that out. Uh, I'm sorry, Frank Darabont did it good enough. I think the TV show just looks horrible, in my opinion. Ronnie, are you hyped for Game of Thrones season seven or Fear the Walking Dead? Uh, I'm hyped for both of them. I really, after rewatching season one and season two, even though season two, I feel like um, has a ton of problems that need to be highlighted and explained, so that way people can see it's not just hate. Um, I'm so very excited for season three. I want to come back with these characters again, and I want to check in on Travis, my favorite, Madison, my next favorite, Alicia's probably, and then Strand. Nick's down at the bottom because rewatching, I just hate his 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 character and everything he says, and it sucks because he was my favorite in the first season, but. Everything after the point of, uh, like, I don't know, right when they get to Celia's, from that point on, it's like a bad writer trying to get this character out of there. I just hated it. Just hated it. Uh, Alex, Alexander Bennett. I don't think this could happen, but do you think someone, Jadis, could take Sherry's comic story in some form from issue 166? I don't think there's any reason for that. Tobin, who wins? Carol before the apocalypse. I don't think that matters. Taylor Ryder. I messaged you about... Oh, all right. Joe Betcher. Ronnie, have you watched the sci-fi show 12 Monkeys? 12 Monkeys is one of my favorite movies, so I didn't even give the show a chance, to be honest. Plus, I really am not impressed with anything sci-fi does, to be honest. I feel like it is uh, um, just generic bullshit that they produce. Uh, but I could be totally wrong, you know, just not giving them the benefit of the doubt, but... I haven't watched a sci-fi show that that I liked, so I just never go over there. Lily Tube. I'm tired. Oh wait, I'm so tired of Jesus and his MacGyver ways. Laugh out loud, MacGyver without gadgets. Yeah, MacGyver without gadgets. Uh, all right, there's a super chat making my way down. Huge, huge, huge. Thank you for the super chat. I'm getting there in one second. I'm, I was trying to find that one comment, but it's lost. Hey, Ronnie, remember when Nick ate some? Yeah, that is in my video. He ate some dog that was eaten by walkers. I feel that is so fake as he would have gotten disease and walker infected. That kills him. That is bullshit. And we'll get to that in a minute. 
Kevin Trollinger. But then again, the Walking Dead TV show pulled some bullshit too, where Rick shoots the walker and blood gets all on his face and everything. So it's, it gets tricky, but we'll get to that. Kevin, do you think we will see Lucille kill another human on TV? Uh, 80% no, 20% it's possible. Edgar D, you did a great job. Fans of the show need to pick w one up. It's, wait, it's a must. Oh yeah, definitely. 12 Monkeys is pretty great. The girl with the glasses are doing good. Uh, Jerry owns a playroom on PS4 is a streaming platform with a large, large community. Just check it out. You'd love it there. Anyway, I love your channel. Thank you very much. I'll check it out. Um, Bethany Olsen. Are you concerned about the next season with the new, less gore approach? Yes, I am very concerned. Last season seemed so weak after they announced it was getting cut. War would suck without any blood. Yeah, I am I am concerned. And I, I don't believe them. They came out and said it. But why? I mean, I don't believe it, you know? And I, it frustrates me because people who complain about the gore should just shut up. <laughs> Walking Dead for life. Ross is funny as hell, man. Met him at a convention last year. Cool as hell. That is awesome. I uh, I, I would love to meet the entire cast. I'm I, I'm probably going to before it's off the air. But when I started doing the reviews, I, I just wanted to wait until it was off and done with, and then maybe I'll go and meet the uh, whatever. Because sometimes I feel like I'm you know. I don't know, too honest and open about how I feel, and I just don't care if I annoy or piss anyone off, and I'm like, there's times where I've said some shit, and then I'm like, well, I said something, and then I, later, I, I go back and go, you know what, that was too harsh, I, I take that back, and I went and gave it another shot, like, Daryl, when the fan base was going nuts with Daryl, and I just said, you kill Daryl, just k get rid of him, because he's cancer to the fan base, um, I shouldn't have let the fan base just annoy the shit at, not the fan base, but the ones who say, kill Rick, Daryl's the main character, like, lit legitimate, that's how they saw The Walking Dead, I just let those get to me, so, so I'm like, what if, a, what if uh, an actor saw that, and they didn't see anything else good I said about him, they'd probably just look at me and be like, oh, this fucking guy, you know what I mean, <laughs> uh, so, I, I just... I think it's best to avoid them, <laughs> and then uh, I'll see them when the show's over. <laughs> uh, Andre Torres, uh, their fault is on the kingdom and the hilltop. That was their job. Uh oh, who are we talking about? Washington State in the house. Do you ever think Eugene will get his lobster? Probably not. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Interval and AIC Comics. Hey, Ronnie, do you think that Dwight is drawn like pre-war, all-out war Rick, bes besides the scar on his face? Da -da -da -da. Yeah, he does look a lot like Rick. <clears throat> Brian Akim, do you think Tobin, Bruce, Kent, Francine will all die in Season 8? Oh, shit, I don't know about all of them, but some of them, definitely. Uh, Tobin, I could use more development. Pat... Sand zone. Hey, Ronnie, where do you think they're going with Carol? Uh, I talked about this previously. I've talked about that a lot. I'm going to start chopping these up because there's like we've covered 90% of these questions, I believe. Uh, maybe not that much. We've covered a good portion of these. Every single Q live stream, I think we're covering the same stuff pretty much. Uh, but yeah, Carol, you know, she's comic Michonne, put it that way and that's a, a shitty way to describe it but if you watch the other live stream you'll get it i'll start cutting when i get time when the move happens i'll start chopping them up and highlighting some of the stuff we talk about kurt cobain hey ronnie how would you want to die if you were on the walking dead peacefully or gr gruesome are you kidding me I wouldn't leave set unless they killed me as gruesome as possible. I would want to be the most gruesome kill. In Like, imagine this. I'm trying to escape, and let's say Maggie, because... <laughs> okay, let's say we got Maggie, we got Michonne. Who else do I have a crush on? It doesn't matter. Just grab anybody. <laughs> Rick, <laughs> put him in a warehouse, and I like we're running out, you know what I'm saying? And then like a zombie comes around the corner and I put my hand up and the zombie eats my fingers off and then uh, I'm helping Rick and them get out and I'm like oh my fingers I'm like go go and then we get to another area and I'm like put my arm out they're just eating off my arm as they uh, remove a barricade like I'm sitting there using my body as a human shield and they're just tearing at me and then we get down another hallway and then maybe I'm using my feet for some other walkers and they're just taking bites out of my calves so finally I'm all like this and then it, it, something breaks down and then zombies are just eating out i don't know something vicious <laughs> that's how i'd want to go out um 
Gavane. Jeremy Owens is linked to YouTube and I'll look it up definitely uh, Beth didn't deserve half a season dedicated to her character I agree that's fine uh, Uh, Ronnie, can Chandler be badass enough? Uh, yeah, this is something else we talk about everything. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, but he can't just wake up and be badass. The actor needs to work at it. He needs to put in work, and he can do it. Tasha, uh, if he tried, you know. Uh, Ridnor, Shiva will be around. Um, just my feeling. Well, I hope you're not a uh, photo watcher or whatever those people are <laughs> Tasha every time we get a no offense every time we get comments like that it's someone from the spoiler community uh, not saying you are I think they're only on episode 2 aren't they because they just wrapped the 100th episode that's what Twitter said Tasha written or I agree with you they need more development for the right character I think they changed Daryl character different uh, they could change him up depends on why though for the story uh, no, I have not watched American Gods for the five millionth time. I haven't had time yet, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Um, Troll Patrol. That's weird to say. What's up with the gay flag thumbnail thing? It's on the uh, um, cover of the new comic. You know? <laughs> I, you should probably change your name, though, because if people know you're looking to incite shit, they're just gonna... Ignore no, it's the internet. They're not gonna ignore you. Never mind. Keep it up. <laughs> Raiders cat. I disagree. There it is. There it is. I disagree, Ronnie. Beth was a season two character, and almost every character gets their shine besides background characters. The, yeah, you know what? Okay, we're back. No, <laughs> who cares if she was in season two? Uh, and almost every character gets shine. That's my point. They shouldn't. They shouldn't. There's some characters who are Randall. Do you want a backstory for Randall? He was in season two. Should he get shine? I mean, more shine. He got a little bit of shine. You know that guy who was shooting at them? The, the two guys who came into the bar, should they get shine? What about the cops? At, if we start giving everyone shine, do you understand? It becomes extremely problematic. Now, this is just an extreme example, but that's how I see Beth. Beth is no better than Randall. Beth is no better than... Originally, I'm not saying now, originally when she's on the screen, when she's casted, when she's there, and it's no offense, you know, I would probably give a limb to be a background character for 30 seconds. If they had Beth on the show and she died during the prison, whatever, I'm not sad. You got a dream come true for a shit ton of people. That's a huge thing. But she got more than that, and honestly, I don't feel like the character deserved it. I feel like that time could have been used more wisely with the other characters. Anyway, uh, but if you disagree, that's fine. That's fine. I know Beth has a, a big fan base. Uh, crazy. A little bit crazy. <laughs> JMoney22. In a new beginning, what do you think Andrew Lincoln will... Uh, I don't think he needs to look similar to Comic Rick, no. I want to see Aaron go all Brokeback Mountain on someone. Well, that's weird. Where, 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 where? Oh, I missed it weird oh okay so keep scrolling weird like uh, I better correct myself before I get comments going what uh, weird like out of nowhere comment uh, bum, 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 channel what do you think the theory that AMC shows are connected in the same universe I hate that theory I think it is idiotic Everybody points out these similarities, but they just overlook everything that is just glaringly like everyone who says, uh, oh, see this car that Walter White bought? It's the same car that Glenn. And it's like, wait a minute, Walter White blew that car up. So explain to me how, you know, Walter White's going to live in the pre apocalypse get the red car, blow the red car up, and then Glenn somehow steals the red car. I, I just I think people want them to be in the same universe and they don't think it through. It's not. They put in little Easter eggs to make fans happy. That's all. That's all it is. Rubik seven seven three two three. Nice super chat donation. Thank you very much. Thanks for the content. Even the dumpster diving vids classic. Dumpster diving was fun. I talked about this before though, but dumpster diving is terrifying not going dumpster diving but seeing how much trash we actually throw out is terrifying put it that way every time from this point on, i won't harp on this long from this point on 
every single time you go into a store and they have a new setup and I'm talking about the metal hold display where it's like headphones or this or this you know new whatever electronic device maybe the um, everything everything in a store even if you think they're gonna reuse it and reuse it it all sits there for a couple months and it gets ripped out and thrown away and I especially Best Buy Best Buy is horrible all the different setups and displays it gets tossed out certain ones maybe they last a few months maybe some last like eight months to a year it is just fucking insane how much shit we throw out uh, anyway Mm, do you find it funny how in the comics call was the hilltop guard who got more screen time but on the TV show it's Eduardo uh, I don't I don't know I don't know why that would be funny let me know what you mean I don't think I'm getting what you mean I I know that but I don't know why it would be funny I checked out your eBay oh, all right you're talking to someone else is TV Negan redeemable no neither was comic Negan though uh, Q &A. Ronnie, in the finale, there were two unnamed, never before seen Alexandrian deaths in the street. How are there still nobodies in Alexandria after uh, two and three seasons at Alexandria? It's simple. It's a TV show, and they just can't show everybody. You know, it's just that simple. Andre Torres, Kingdom is Gavin's fault for the attack. Kingdom is Gavin's fault for the attack. Don't you mean Jared? The Kingdom is Gavin's fault for the attack. Jared was the huge dick. Maybe I'm just not reading what you mean right. Smooth Art Design Lab. So what do you think they are going to do with J Judas? I mean, Jadis and her group. Unless they have her betray Negan, then she's just going to go to war with them. Uh, not all of them are going to die. Some of them will integrate with the other groups, yada, yada, yada. But it's it's war. John, John. Uh, Ronnie, can Chandler be badass? Yep, we already went through that, definitely. But he needs to step his game up. Zach Hapgood. How you doing, Ronnie? Love your videos and you answered me in the earlier stream. Well, fuck you now. <laughs> and you think we'll see... I don't know why, but when I have these long talks, maybe it's because I'm boxing everything up and I'm le releasing some dust or something, but I feel like I'm, I get uh, stuffed up. You know? That's weird, ain't it? Anyway. What did you ask? Do you think we'll see the whispers again? What do you mean again, motherfucker? Oh, in the comic. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely going to see them. <laughs> Tobin, how would the series have changed if Carol died instead of T-Dog like it was supposed to? It wouldn't change. It'd still be exactly the same, except for in certain areas you would have different characters doing it. That's all. Taylor Ryder, thanks, man. It's been awesome. The UPS people. Oh, never mind. You guys are talking to each other. Kurt Cobain, hey, Ronnie, how would you want to die if you were on The Walking Dead? Wait a minute. Motherfucker, did you repeat that shit? Yes, the watching live and after chat. Maybe call it mapping dead. No, probably not. Uh, dead stream seems to be the. Uh, a, a lot of people are saying dead stream, but here's the problem. I don't want people to think it's like no good. You know, maybe uh, maybe they'll know. Oh, walking dead, yada yada yada. But I don't know. Um, that girl already did. All right. Uh, royal skin could Jadis take Alpha's comic dun -dun -dun -dun. I don't see any reason for that could, she could this crude weapon super chat thanks for the awesome videos and live chat huge thank you for the super chat it is because of the generosity and support of the map family this is the reason why we're going to make it pull through to June July it's going to be a little rocky but we're going to do it <laughs> and then come back for season 8 map by the end of the year it'll be better than ever trust me i got some shit planned kevin trullinger how would you use lucille during season eight would you kill a human how would you play the scene out uh victim -wise? i don't think i would even be focused on killing anyone with lucille i think i would like to set up some cool war scenes you know i've always had this idea that in the lineup when Daryl gets up to punch Negan. I always said that since he got shot, he was bleeding out. He should have missed. Negan should have saw that coming because Daryl's weak. I always thought it would have been so cool if Daryl was getting up and he was weak and he went to punch Negan. And Negan sees it because Daryl's you know, weak. And Negan just takes a step back. It's hard to show you guys here. But Daryl, Negan takes a step back and he hits him lightly though with the barbed wire on the shoulder as Daryl's falling forward because his punch missed and uh, Negan follows him to the ground with the bat on the shoulder just tearing the flesh up just you know 
taking skin off, ripping his shirt. I mean, and but he guides him to the ground, and that was the missed punch. I would, since they didn't do that in season seven, uh, episode one, I would utilize that for something coming up. Maybe they get a hold of Eric, you know, and um, Eric goes up to punch someone to get away, and Negan gets him in the bat in the stomach, and then pulls it so it just tears, and it's not a, a fatal hit, it just just tears his stomach up. You know how painful that is? All that barbed wire just... And I tried it. I put it on my shoulder and just slowly went like this to see. And it's like, as soon as it pricks in and you... Sl anyone who has a real bat, put it on your shoulder and act as if... If you pull just a little... And I'm not talking hard, but set it there and give it a little tug, you'll know immediately you don't want to be in that situation. Well, have him hit uh, Eric in the stomach, hit in the back. And I'm not talking wham. I'm talking just a... And then it's ripping the flesh off. Do that. Uh, Eric doesn't give end up giving the position away. Maybe he gives him a wrong position, and then that leads to another little battle. Yada yada yada. I would use it in that way. Uh, that way, I'm not in a hurry to do another lineup. Only because I just don't feel like it fits. You know, maybe if they caught a couple survivors. And no, that no no, I don't want it. I thought maybe if they caught a couple guys, but here's the thing, and this is what makes the war so interesting, or more interesting, Negan is not out to just murder them all. Negan needs them. He wants them. He wants survivors to work for him. The more workers he has, the better he, the more he lives like a king, you know? So, I would focus on that aspect, you know? Uh, jo Josh Joseph, do you think that if they kill Shiva with gore, people will get mad? Uh, probably, but I think that'd probably be hard to kill the tiger with a lot of gore. Damn, Ronnie, you made me feel so dumb earlier when I asked that Shiva attacking. Wait, Shiva attacking? Question, laugh aloud. But I know it's all good and fun. But I thought you were dead ass when you said Ezekiel thought her flashbacks. Duh. Oh yeah, I was joking around with that. Um, I tease when it comes to the point where we talk about it 500 times, and it's like, you know what, guys it's fuck it's it's the movies you know it's a movie there's no way a real tiger at least maybe i don't know there's no way a real tiger would know who to attack and who not to attack you know at least i feel like i could be wrong how would you use uh wait taylor rider ronnie i know how you feel nick was my favorite but when travis went beast mode he instantly instantly became my favorite i love that scene yo when i rewatch the stuff between chris and travis and all that and, and fear i loved it even more and I stand by the death. I like Chris's death. I think that is something that a lot of fans just did not expect, you know, because it is very different than deaths we get play out. And if you watch it, I know a lot of people the first time said, and I didn't understand it, but they said, oh, we're not getting his real death. We're just getting what Travis thinks as his real death. And uh, that's that's his real death. That's his real death played out in the eyes of uh, the, the two people who were there and who shot him, like that is the real death. So you get to see him die. And yeah, it might've been off screen technically because of how it played out, but I like it. I like it a lot. It's the hotel shit. It's the separating. It's a lot of that that just gets to me, you know? And you're probably like, well, Ronnie, how do you do that if you like it, if you don't like them getting separated? It's how they got separated that I find problematic. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Scott Wright, hi. Uh, do you think Daryl has outlived his usefulness and needs to go? Uh, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Travis dead. Damn, Ronnie. How do these questions still pop up? Thought Factory. The strain on sci-fi is awesome. Brooke Arnold. Ronnie. He just said, and I'm quoting, she was a season two character in every... Oh, yeah, thank you. We finally got to that. I appreciate that, though. Uh, Jeff Morrow. Ronnie, has anybody ever figured out... Just how strong walkers are. No, I don't think anyone figured that out. Uh, is it TV Negan redeemable? Love your channel. No. Uh, it was for some fans, sure. They just they like his charisma. They like the actor. So it's easy to forgive the character. In my opinion, he's not forgivable. But neither was comic Negan, you know. Um, bum, bum, bum. Joy Tech Vape Pen, that's what I got. No, this is just a Haas. I'm almost out. I'm almost done with this. And then I'm, I'm done completely, so... Uh, maybe I get, I think it's done. Maybe I get, I got one more coil. I'm thinking about just finishing that up and then I'm done. All right, let me see. Ronnie, my biggest question though is what happening to get scratch bob walkers? They made such a big deal out of it. Uh, regrets to her. Yeah, listen, a lot of people 
a lot of people talk about the walker scratching people. I need you to show me where do they make a big deal out of it because uh, we didn't see anything. We didn't. There's no proof whatsoever, not that I remember, of walker scratching people. And if you're going to tell me the prison, that doesn't count because they got paranoid. They don't know for sure. They think scratches turn you, you know, bites, scratches. So uh, they just made that assumption and they killed Tiny. Is that his name? Uh, he could have been perfectly fine. He got just a scratch. If it was a bite, sure, but uh, he could have been fine. The point is they were showing how vicious that dude is. Instead of sitting there and waiting and seeing if he got infected or not, they just that dude, Tom Tomas, just killed him. Uh, why aren't there powering vehicles, dynamos, stuff with walkers? Michonne has the patent. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, hit those likes. What's in your left hand? Are you talking about this? It's just a vape pen. Ronnie, what do you think about the underground compound of sorts like the politicians hiding out in D.C.? I feel like it would be a new concept. Yeah, I feel like that's something that uh, they could get away with. They could do. You can't really... Yeah, it has to be a big compound, but then you're, you're... Then you risk losing the story or diluting the story a little bit because a lot of times you get characters... You know, they have their own shit going on, like at the hotel in Fear of the Walking Dead, like at the farm. And uh, and you need to be careful not to have your main cast come in and overshadow everything, like overtake everything. I think they did a wonderful job in Season 2 of The Walking Dead uh, balancing that out. If you go to a political, you know, like presidents and politicians, there's no way in hell these new survivors, they don't care who Rick Grimes is. There's no way you're getting clearance. There's no way you're going to get any of them to even listen to you, respect you. They might ask you what, what it's like out there and what have you learned. They might, uh, they might bring you in on meetings like that and then have you take them to your camp and your settlement and shit like that. But at the end of the day, you're going to risk realistic you know storytelling over having the government too overpowered and too important because again who the hell is rick grimes that's why you need something with rick's community like the politicians they need a functioning community rebuild these communities and then it makes more sense to do something uh with bunkers and stuff with important people coyote that's right left out loud big clan peace tree joe betcher Beecher, hey Ronnie, below you watch the left, wait, I know you watch The Leftovers, I was wondering if after the series ends you would do a video giving your thoughts on a series, we'd love to, yeah, I might, that might take a while though, because I have to go through the season and really hack at it, I hate the idea of just sitting down and being like, okay, here's it, and being so wrong, I want to go and give my in-depth thoughts, so I'll do that. I tell you what, though, I'm starting to get frustrated with it a little bit. I know I was real frustrated in the first season because I honestly felt like this is a show that's going to mess with your head and not reveal anything. So at the end of it, it's just like a big what the hell. And I'm starting to get worried with this. I know I love the acting. I love so much with what they do. But for some reason, last night's episode, it just annoyed me. It was this the couple that I felt like... Everything they were saying to each other was just forced, and maybe I'm just not following it good enough. I don't know. I just it didn't vibe with me, Mr. Surge. It's so funny how Paul Paul Monroe is using that flag to kill the Walker. Creative thumbnail, Ronnie. Good job. Not a problem, Josh Norris. Maybe because they have access to medicine now, so scratches can be treated. Just a thought. Uh... Filmmaker Wannabes, what do you think was the point of separating Strand from the group at the end of Season 2, especially since the promo pic spoiled the families uh, reuniting? I honestly think they have a problem with the story they want to tell and AMC saying split them up, get things split up, get it made as cheap as can be, get this, get that. I, you know, because it doesn't make any sense. You know, it just doesn't. You guys will see when I make the video. You'll see, you know, because Nick's – and I don't want to hear the he's selfish. If you believe that, that's fine. But what did he do? Why did he leave for himself? In what way, shape, or form? And don't tell me it was to find people who were like-minded because he immediately goes back to killing walkers. So what's – where's the like – my? did you see Celia? In season two, Celia was furious – furious that strand killed her her son um killed him that was her like stepson adopted son killed him he was a zombie 
dying as a zombie in her eyes is just as bad as killing him when he's alive. She flipped. She was furious. Nick goes on to kill them nonchalantly after that. Like, it ain't shit. You know what I mean? He even puts his thumbs all the way through. He, it's bad writing. It's, it's forced bad writing. There's no work around. It's not selfish. He's just, it's just bad writing. And then Strand, one episode, I don't want to help you clear out the hotel. This ain't shit. It's not my home. I ain't staying here. The season finale, I can't go, Madison. I gotta stay. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, Ophelia, she just bounced, <laughs> you know? They waited two episodes to even reveal that she left. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway. Mr. Surge, it's so fun. Wait, go down. Oh, man. <laughs> we got a super chat. Let's check out the super chat. There's so many questions. I really wish I could get them all. All right, here we go. Kimberly Smith, huge thank you with the massive super chat. Hey, Ronnie, will there be a long time skip at the beginning of season eight? Love all y'all videos. Great job. Yo, um, I don't know. I've been asked this a lot. I don't know where it comes from. I'm trying to think of the, the finale. I know it ended in a way where it was like a uh, like a series closer, closer type. Like it had a conclusion to it, you know? I don't like, I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I would say no. It feels awkward. If they have a time skip, a long one in season eight, at the beginning of season eight, I'll be shocked stupid. Because keep in mind, Negan is preparing his people for war. So what's going to keep Negan from fighting? What's a what's a long time skip? A month? Two months? A week? You know, two weeks? Six months? What keeps Negan from attacking in six months? I just I have to say no. I, do, I don't think there's going to be a long time skip at all. I just don't feel like that makes any sense whatsoever. If they can make that make sense, okay. But I just, I don't see it. You guys let me know down in the comment box. What do you think about a uh, long time skip? Absolutely. Uh, let me just check, see if I... Someone asked me about... Thank you again for the super chat, Kimberly. That was um, awesome support there. Christy Thomas, do you watch Mr. Robot? Fuck Mr. Robot. I think I heard my daughter walking around. I wanted to quietly curse, but yeah, Mr. Robot. You better get to bed. What was that face, and why are you still up? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I had to. What? Oh. Get to bed, sweetheart. But then. Hold on. Take it easy. Don't mess with it. You don't want to swallow your tooth at night. But get in bed. No more messing with it. It will come out. Just have patience. Hello, my fans. <laughs> They're my fans, not yours. No. Go to bed. Watch me too. Go to bed. Or... Why if, you go to bed when you're talking? If I need to lock you in the closet, I will. Oh, okay. Look, <gasps> the microphone wasn't muted. Oh no. Okay. All right. Back to uh, discussion. And let me see, long time skip. Yeah, Mr. Robot, it just, oh man, oh. Has anyone noticed this is how they film scenes in Mr. Robot? They'll be in this one corner and then you have everything, even though it'll be like uh, one of those rich people's apartments where there's nothing on the walls because that's supposed to be, I don't know why, I, that would drive me nuts. <laughs> anyway, um, they film everything. It'll be the one head, like shoulders and a head, in the corner, and everything's just open space. There's no reason to film like that. That filming style is horrendous. It is somebody who thinks it is so artistic and genius, and I just want to visit set so I can punch him in the face. That is how bad I hate that filming style for iRobot. I mean, I mean, Mr. Robot, Mr. Robot. Um, as far as the story, you waste, no, let's keep it moving. Season two is such a waste. The first half of the season, it's like, he, it's a lie, it's a lie. Oh, spoiler alert, they fucking lied to you. Uh, anyway, uh, bum bum bum. 
What do we got? Big XO to Juliet. Tooth Fairy is coming soon. LOL. They said they said they all love you, but go to bed before Daddy Drop kicks you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Uh huh. I'm just watching TV until you stop talking. Uh, how about I start kicking? <laughs> Good night. Uh, parent works 24 7 around it. Yes, they do. Are you going to get the new Daryl statue from McFarland Toys? I have it and it's so fucking cool. No, I can't. I can't. Um, $300. You're talking about the $300 statue? Gee, you can't justify that. <laughs> Not right now. There's just no way. Um, maybe down the line, maybe in a year or two. Uh, how would you like The Walking Dead to end? Uh, I just, I can't end, I can't answer the, I've tried to answer how would The Walking Dead end on a, you know, an open chat, I, I need to think about it, I need to pull some stuff together, uh, because any idea would just be a generic, half-assed answer of, they either die, they either live, you know what I mean? Uh, also, Father warms my heart. Opinions on Cliff, well, thank you very much, everyone, for the, uh, kind comments. I won't read them all out, just so it, won't, it doesn't look like I'm like, look at me, I'm super dad of the year. <laughs> uh, uh, um, no, I did mute, if anyone's wondering what, what happened with the sound, I did mute it a couple times, just so I wasn't screaming in your ear when I was yelling to talk to my daughter, you know what I mean? Not yelling, you know what I mean. Because <laughs> I'm trying to holler across the, uh, the the wall at her, so I didn't want to be screaming in your ear. Okay, what do we got? Q&A, can you give us insight into what to expect from issue one of Doomsday Kingdom? Uh, issue one is tricky. It's more like a uh, it's more like a combination of a movie and a novel than it is a standard comic book. Uh, there is a lot of reading. There's a, a lot because you're following a yeah. There's a lot of reading. Put it that way. There's a lot of reading, and the reason why I say a movie is because you're watching somebody walk from. A, and this is an example, by the way. You're not literally, but uh, sometimes you're literally watching somebody walk from A to B. In a regular comic, they try to jam as much first issue as possible, so you'll likely see somebody uh, look at the time. You know, that's it, one panel. They're like, oh my god, I'm late for work. Next thing you know, they they show up at work. You know, they're getting out of their car and running in, and that's all. That's two panels, and you did all that. Uh, well, because of the story I'm trying to tell in the first issue, you, you would see this person go from every single mo every single moment leading up until they get to work. Uh, that was a horrible example, but because it has nothing to do with anyone trying to go to work. <laughs> it's got a guy who's got a prisoner, and his main goal is to take that prisoner, tie him up to a post a post in the middle of an open field call over some zombies and sentence him to uh, death by painful uh, eating while he's still alive. <laughs> eating, him to, to eat, eating him to death while he's still alive. Anyway. Um, I'm trying to try again later. Wait, what? What is going on? Unable to connect. Unable to connect to chat. Please try again later. What is this? Bum, bum, bum. Is there something wrong with the chat? Uh, let me check the, the super chats. Huge thank you for the super chat. TWD, you got two of them there. Hey man, just helping out. Love the channel. Thank you very much. The Rubik's 77 crude weapon. Uh, TWD again. Glad to help out. Kimberly Smith and DC24004. Love the streams. You are an awesome guy and a terrific dad. Use this to get Juliet some ice cream and something nice. I gotta start writing that down because that's now like uh, 15 bucks towards some ice cream. We, we got ice cream all summer long now. <laughs> Huge thank you though. Uh, give me a second. I Is it just me or is the uh, chat frozen? 
Uh, everything might be frozen. I might shut it down. What is going on here? Bum, bum, bum. Guys, I'm going to shut it down. It's telling me it's unable to connect to chat. Please try again later. So I don't know. Nothing's coming through. Fuck, man. And my, my connection's all green. It's all good. Um, what do we got? 11 o'clock. Come on, YouTube. What are you doing? Wait, maybe this is the problem. No, that's all good. Okay, not frozen. It's not us, it's you. Yeah, my thing was frozen. I had to restart it. All right, all right. Thanks, everyone, hanging in there. I thought I was going to have to shut it back, but the screen did, in fact, freeze on my end. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Honeybees. What up, Ronnie? Sorry if you got this question already, but why the F can Into the Badlands have a bunch of blood and gore, but it's a problem for them to do it on The Walking Dead, which is way more popular? Bro, I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> I haven't watched Into the Badlands, though, so... I mean, I, I started season one, and it just wasn't my type of... Uh, wasn't my kind of tea. But uh, I don't know. I really don't know. John John. Ronnie, it seems like Walking Dead is getting away with from walkers and more focused on the battles between the groups. Do you think it will get back to the walkers more after the war? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. You know? Mm, bum, bum, bum. M man 84 we are going to we're gonna wrap this up 10 minutes and we're gonna wrap this up because there's something I really need to do for the comic and I got to get that done tonight my eyes are already burning that's a few things I think wait uh, when do you think Maggie will start showing you know if only a few months passes in season 8 then she probably shouldn't show until the end ish or season 9 I think they would put a visual there maybe a small visual for season eight but a couple episodes in maybe season nine again it all depends on how much time passes it really does uh, ba -bum -bum. Hey man do you think do you think there's room for both daryl and dwight in a new beginning if so how do you think they will uh yeah absolutely uh, the only the only similarity between daryl and dwight is um maybe how they dress you know the fact that dwight stole his his gear other than that, they are as different as, uh, you know, Daryl and Negan are. They are as different as, who else? Yeah, uh, Gavin and Daryl or who else? I know there's some more people on the save. Simon and Daryl. You know, there's just, there's, there's just no reason why we should be wondering why they both can't exist, you know? Again, one guy stole his crossbow, stole his vest, other than that, and his motorcycle. So he stole his stuff. Other than that, he's no different than having Simon and Daryl live on, Negan and Daryl live on, you know? That's the way I see it, anyhow. Uh, you're streaming live. I'm watching from a hospital room. Keep up the work. Well, Hamster Snake, I'm hoping you get better from whatever ailment is messing you up right now in the hospital. Pull through, buddy. Thank you very much for the support by watching. I'm glad you're getting some enjoyment out of this because hospitals suck. I hate hospitals. Uh, Goons, Goon Sack Steve. Would you like to see Ezekiel live longer than his comic counterpart? Yes. If Yeah, I, I like the actor playing him. I really do. I really enjoy him. And I hope they make him uh, different. That This is one character. Like I'm disappointed in... TV Jesus being different than comic Jesus by his, you know, how his character is such a badass. But with Ezekiel, I would want him to be more of a badass than this Ezekiel in the comic was a cowardly disappointment. You know what I mean? Uh, would you like to see? Same here. Debbie Bryant. The dynamite. Oh, man, there it goes. Oh, there it is. The dynamite didn't explode, so does the group still have it? Or did it? No, I think the saviors took it because they entered the truck and they looked like they were taking it. Uh, you survived. No, uh, two people asked that back to back. That's funny. But no, the, um, uh, whatchamacallit. The, uh, Saviors, I was gonna <laughs> saviors. I was gonna say scavengers, but I think the saviors took the dynamite. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, 
Uh, I didn't get a new mic. The Jack's attack. I've had this. Uh, is it a called a blue snowball? I've had this for about a year now. It's working pretty good. Maybe production partner Ronnie's help has been awesome. Ronnie's help it's been awesome. Oh yeah, his bats. His bats are badass. Um, bum bum. What do we got? Oh, somebody got timed out. Yeah, if you're just commenting stupid shit, you're probably going to get timed out or uh, you'll get your comment hidden. And that's not to be like, you know, I don't know. I, don't, I just don't get it. It's just to clear the feed. You know what I mean? We're trying to get to as many people's shit as possible. I see uh, Adam Ford. You're getting, uh, I don't know, you're getting a little wine ass to be because you just said stupid shit, it looks like, and the mod removed your comment. You threw a fit about it. I don't see... I don't see why. Like, join the chat and talk, man, or leave. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, do you enjoy watching Dwight more than Daryl? No, I, I enjoy them both, definitely. The Walking Dead for Life. Do you think All Out War will last more than just Season 8? Or No, no way. I mean, Season 8, is. I still think it's stretching it in a good way. But no, not more than one season. Hell no. Um, John, John, Ron, you may already answer this, but... When are you two moving? Uh, I have no idea. I know officially by uh, what? Officially by, days. huh? Fourteen days. Yeah, officially. What are you doing, Cubby? Me. Is he chewing on something, honey? I don't know. He? All right, he's good. I got him. No, I want you to. I want you to go to bed. You're I already up past. Time. Well, I think it was, um, he was trying to chew on his damn harness. We got the <laughs> harness so the collar won't choke him. He's... Oh, well, I, that's because I don't expect... He's popular for doing that. <laughs> I'm, he's more popular for doing that. Covey, come here, please. He uh, we got him a, harn, a harness because the collars choke him. And uh, he's trying to eat it and he's choking himself. <laughs> Dummy. No. Anyway, uh, you think All Out War will last more than... No, there be no perfect time in the YouTube. Thanks, bro. Uh, Oh, yeah, we're moving. We got to be out definitely by, I think it's like the 24th or something. But uh, the move date all depends on the new place and when we can actually get in. Uh, but which is also tight because I was denied for the other place because of my background. So it's... Fuck. <laughs> I don't know. It's just pain in the ass. But anyway. Um... Come on, Glenn's death is what propelled Maggie to become a leader at the hilltop. How will Andrea's da 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 da? Uh, it's just, I don't know, might make him more edgy. How's that? <laughs> it's gonna harden him up, or at least it should, you know. I'm actually digging Dwighty Boy better than Daryl. And some of these two, like, I, I don't mean to be like, um, short with it. I, I, I can't answer that in, you know, that's a whole video. That's a whole video, plus, you gotta sit down and process it. So when I get when I shoot it right into the point, you know, I, I don't mean to be um, What's the like short about it, you know uh, in like a mean way Because <laughs> I do mean to be short and to the point, but uh, yeah, I think it's gonna harden them up a little bit. That's it um, In that's it in like a short way. <laughs> what do you think is the chance that Negan could die next issue to cover? I don't think that's likely at all. They got too much invested in them to kill him now with the uncensored season seven blu-ray coming out are you hoping that we will get swearing da, 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 da? yeah all the characters i hope we uh um get swearing from all of them you know whatever whatever they got i hope we get as much of it as possible i love the one minute before posting another comment because it prevents spam and prevents me from replying to everybody huh <laughs> yeah we got to do that because you'll get people who just come into the chat and they'll look forward to just going D -d 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 so knowing that's in place there's less incentive for them to join so i'll never remove that i'm never going to remove that and i didn't even put that on there that's a default setting and i didn't know about it the first like two times i streamed someone told me about it later jack napier napier what do you think is the chance that negan could die next to you oh yeah we already did that uh we are we're wrapping it up i gotta do it in five minutes 
I don't know if you guys are having problems, but YouTube keeps shutting down my thing and turning it back on. And if you guys are going through problems, it's just going to look like ass later on. Uh, let's, bum, 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 bum. What do we got here? Uh, this is this is such a horrible setup, though. I'm I don't know. I think maybe I'm doing it wrong, but the chat screen is nonstop glitch. Like if you try to move up and down a hair just to look five comments, if on comment six the chat goes like this, it's up, it's down, it's just I don't know. It's just <laughs> hey Ronnie, do you think Olivia's death was necessary in a mid-season finale? I thought she was a good character, but lived in Alexandria. Your thoughts? It depends. It depends. Listen, the mid-season finale perfectly mirrored what happened in season uh, in episode one. Negan shows up in episode one, and what does he do? He gets uh, Abraham. Boom, done. Then he glad. Then he gets Glenn. Boom, done. Then he takes. Uh, let's shorten it up. Basically, Negan tells him, "You do what I say. You bring me supplies." And you guys are fine. You can go on. You can live. Whoop de whoop. Everything's good. Just get me what I what I want. Get me supplies. So then they have problems all throughout the season or the half season. They get to episode eight, the mid season finale, and what happens? Even though they bend over backwards and they almost get killed, you know, literally getting Negan what he wants. They get home and on top of Aaron being beaten, just like Abraham, Spencer's killed. Just like Glenn, I forgot, Olivia's killed. And just like Daryl being taken in episode one, Eugene is taken. What happens in episode one and the mid-season finale in episode eight perfectly mirrors each other. And Rick did everything in his power to get Negan what he wanted. So episode eight shows Rick that no matter what happens, no matter what happens, you know, they are still going to lose. <laughs> So uh, I think it was extremely important. Now, whether you think Olivia was the right character for that death or somebody else, yeah, that's in the air. I think she, I think she could have been useful, you know. But th mirroring the episode is important for the story. Maybe, maybe not on a surface level. Maybe not because I don't think it's as noticeable. When I talk about that, there's so many fans that I've talked to that were like, "Oh my God, you're right. I didn't even know that it was two deaths." And then they take someone hostage and yada, yada, yada. So, uh, anyway, anyway. Uh, ba -bum -bum. Was that, woo -woo? Raise the Dead TV. Do you think they made Rick out to be less of a badass in a season seven premiere? He got uh, easily covered by Jadis while Carol took out two to three. He got easily covered by Jadis. Wait, what? Do you think they made Rick look a little badass in season seven premiere? Um, I don't know. I don't know what you mean. You're talking about the season seven premiere and then you give an example about the season seven finale. I, I'm really not sure what you mean there. Uh, don't have to wait for the rebound. Uh, stream keeps going offline. Yeah, I'm going to shut it down. This, yeah, it just keeps cutting in, out, in and out. And unless Juliet's sneaking um, internet or something, I don't know why it's saying offline. Um, it says offline here, but the connection is great. Yeah, I, don't, I just don't know why. My stream is saying it's it's bad you know like am uh youtube is just saying the stream is bad and now it's offline again listen we're gonna cut it here i really got to get some stuff done anyway uh, i can do the best of my ability to try to get some type of live stream done tomorrow if i if i am able to get a video done uh it's it, it might be just a small one tomorrow is an insanely busy day uh friday it's looking like there might be i don't know there might be uh, no school on Friday I don't know I heard it was a makeup day so uh, if that is the case I might be able to do a live stream Juliet could play we could do one during the day maybe I'll try to make it between during the day and then during at nighttime so uh, uh, you know everyone can as many people as uh, as we can will get online I don't know <laughs> uh, bum -bum -bum. yeah Audio is fine. Yeah, we're having that problem. The video cuts out, but the audio is fine. One thing I was really hoping for is once I get moved, I keep talking about being hardwired. But someone's telling me that even if you're hardwired, you're still going to have problems with uh, YouTube. So I don't know. But like I said, once I get moved in 14 days roundabout, uh, that's when I'll be set up, give or take, 14 days. Um hardwired and i'm going to buy a bigger internet package uh stronger internet if that matters 
So uh, I'm hoping uh, that's going to be the solve all of problems. I watch other people's live stream and they say they have regular internet and they don't have any of the lag problems. It's so rare in their videos. So honestly, maybe I'm doing something wrong behind the scenes too. I try to look up some stuff on videos, but some stuff just doesn't look it just doesn't make any damn sense, you know? Uh, go Mets. Last question. Yeah. Can you edit highlights of this? Yes and no. Yes, you know, I will get to it in a couple days. The no comes because it, I know right now for four days, it, it's going to be hard getting time to do videos, let alone editing highlights. So after four or five days, maybe I'll have time to do a little bit of highlights but uh i'll have to let you know but i will do everything in my power to come back and pull some highlights um, how do you think she is? Um, oh all right last one christy pingle uh jadis and negan met because that girl um who father gabriel took hot hostage her or the other girl they followed the saviors and they talked to him when they followed him back to the sanctuary they talk about that in the season finale all right guys i'm out of here Thank you very much for everybody. Yeah, you're a booty buddy. <laughs> I know, right? A uh, little sneak. But that was my fault. I were trusting her, trying to get her to do things on her own, certain things, you know. So she's getting to be that age where she's got to start putting in work, you know, taking care of everything. You just supervise and say, yes, okay, do that. No, do this. Are you connecting to your modem or a router? The internet provider modem suck. A router, help me. No, I got my own router. Again, we'll, we'll, uh, uh, we'll tackle those. Yeah, I went and bought one to make sure it was damn good. But anyway, I forget what I was saying. <laughs> I'm looking for the off. Oh, there it is. I didn't even have it pulled up. Yep, we are out of here. Thank you for everyone who supported. I wanted to check out the super chat, make sure we got everybody. And it looks like we did. If I missed you on the super chat, I am very sorry. But still, thank you, thank you, thank you for the support. All the patrons over on Patreon and everyone over here on YouTube doing your part to watch, to share, to like the videos, spreading the word of mouth. Uh, all of that is keeping us afloat. And I can't wait till we get past all these problems so we just have smooth sailing. <laughs> all right, guys. Have a good night.